Hare Krishna, welcome all. We are in the revision of our uh, topic, Material World and Spiritual Science, Lesson 5. So let's start today's class with uh, prayer. Before that, um, this is a picture of our topic for today, Lesson 5. It's all about Krishna Loka. This is our original home back uh, where we have to go back, back to Godhead. Okay, so that's why uh, it's called that. We have to go back home, back to Godhead. Okay, let's start our prayers. Recite the prayers along with me. Om Chakshurun Militam that's Namaste Saraswati Okay, let's move on to the shloka, the first shloka. This is from the 10th chapter, 8th verse. Who wants to try reciting the verse? Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Ashutosh Sanatva. Yes, Ashutosh, please go ahead and say. Aham Sarvasya Prabhaho, Mata Sarvam Pravartate, Iti Matvam Bhajante Maam, Buddha Bhava Smavit. Okay, thank you very much, Ashutosh. Anybody else? Hare Krishna Mataji. Yes? It's me, Krishna, I want to try. Yes, Shri Krishna, please go ahead and try. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava Mata Sarvam Pravatate Iti Matva Bhajante Maam Buddha Bhava Samanvita Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Nandini. Hare Krishna Nandini, yes, please go ahead and try reciting the list. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava Mata Sarvam Pravartate Iti Matva Bhajante Ma Buddha Bhava Saman Vita Thank you very much Nandini. Very nice. Yes, please go ahead. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava Mata Sarvam Pravartate Thank you, Aura. Very nice recitation. Anybody else would like to try reciting the words? Chinmay, do you want to try this verse? Okay, Mataji. Um, Aham Sarva Prabhavo Mat Sarvam Pravatyate Iti Mava Bhajante Maam Buddha Bhava Samanvitaha Thank you Chinmay. Very nice recitation. Does anybody want to read the translation? Who wants to read? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I read it? Yes, go ahead. I'm the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ashutosh. Hello, Mataji. Yes? 
It's me, Krishna. I want to check. Yes, Sri Krishna. Go ahead. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise, the wise who is perfectly known is engaged in my devotional service and worships me with all their hearts. Okay. Very nice. So, from uh, all the classes, uh, all these classes, previous classes that you heard about uh, Vishloka, what do you understand from Vishloka? That Krishna is the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Yeah, so he is the original creator. Remember, we studied about Sarga and Sarga, right? Sarga is the original creation and Lesarga is the secondary creation. So he created everything, spiritual and material worlds. So this is a, uh, so far this is a proof to be the supreme person. And everything emanates from him. So everything that we see comes from Krishna. Okay? So let's move on to the next loka, which is loka, which is eight point sixteen. Who wants to recite this verse? So you might get questions from the words itself, or you might get questions from the translations. Yes, who wants to recite? Yes, Ashutosh, please go ahead. Abrahma Bhavano Loka, Punar Avartina Arjuna, Mamma Etu Gonseya, Punar Jantaya. Thank you, Shilasha. Yes. Yes, Shilasha. Thank you, Shilasha. Yes, Nandini. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nandini. Nice recitation. Can you please announce your name? Okay, is there anybody else who would like to recite this verse? Okay. okay. Let's give a chance for somebody else to read the translation. Who wants to read the translation? Jagdish. Okay, Jagdish, go ahead, please. From the highest planets in the material world down to the lowest are the places. Place of mystery, wherein repeated birth and death take place, but one who attends, but one who attends to my above. O oh, son of Kunti, never takes birth again. Thank you, Jagdish, for reading the translation well. Okay. So, Aura, do you want to read? Yes, please go ahead. From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all. We can't hear you, Aura. You're breaking. From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. The one who attains to my abode, O son of Quinty, never takes birth again. Thank you, Aura. So, Aura, what do you understand from this shloka? Aura, 
okay any planet in the material world that you take it has something in common that is there in this verse what is that person that takes place yes that's right but when you go to goloka vrindavana what happens when we attain to krishna's abode goloka vrindavana what does krishna say in the last line he never takes birth again yes so that is an important message that is conveyed in this shloka okay so let's move on to our revision of the lesson 5 is there any wanted to try ready uh, the shloka or the any any of these two shlokas who wanted to try okay So let's move on to our revision of lesson 5. So we talked about two Vrindavanas in our lesson 5. Okay, I hope you remember both the Vrindavanas. So there is one Vrindavan in the spiritual world and there is one Vrindavan in the material world. Okay, what is the Vrindavan in spiritual world called? Golok Vrindavan. Golok Vrindavan. Thank you very much, Aru. And what is the Vrindavan in the material world called? Gokula. Gokula. Very nice. Yes. So that's that's just a little bit of change in letters. Goloka and Gokula. Okay, that's how you remember. So, can you give two other names for Goloka Vrindavan? Can you think of something that you learned from lesson five? Two other names. Goloka Vrindavan is otherwise called as. Like that? No. Goloka Vrindavan is part of um, the spiritual sky, but uh, it's the topmost planet in the spiritual world, so it's not Vaikuntha. What is the other name for Goloka Vrindavan? There are two other names that you can gather from this. Whose planet is this basically? Krishna Loka. Krishna Loka. Yes, that's one name. What's the other one? Okay. So, uh if you see the Goloka Vrindavan made up of touch stones, right? So what is it called in Sanskrit? Touch stone. It's called Chintamani Dhama. Okay, Chintamani is touch stone. Dhama is place. A place made of touch stones. Okay, so that is going to be our next question as well. Krishna Loka is full of palaces made of made of what? It has palaces made of. I just gave you a clue from the previous question. Old touch stones. Touch stones. Okay. So, what is a touch stone, by the way? Does anybody remember what is a touch stone? If you touch anything with it, yes, it can turn into gold. Okay. So, so rich, it can make you. Okay. And then the second part of the question it also has desire trees. that supply any type of eatable on demand called what is the desire tree is called some vriksha vriksha is tree what vriksha is that kalpa vriksha yeah that's right kalpa vriksha and the third part of the question dash that supply limitless amount of milk surabhi cow surabhi cow so three things okay it's made of palaces of touch stone and then it has desired tree called kalpa vriksha that supply any type of eatable on demand and the third is surabhi cow that supply limitless amount of milk okay three things it has it's full of all of this okay All the planets in the Vaikuntha are called dash. Okay. 
So our spiritual sky is called as and inside the Vaikuntha there are innumerable planets called dash, dash, and the topmost planet is called dash. What are the innumerable planets in Vaikuntha called as? It's called as Vaikuntha. Okay? It's there in your uh, lesson file. Go back and refer to it. It's called as Vaikuntha. And the topmost planet among all these planets is called as? You know it. That's what we are lear learning about in the lesson 5. What is the topmost planet in the spiritual sky called? Krishna Loka. Krishna Loka or Goloka Vrindavana. Okay. In Goloka Vrindavana, the Lord resides in in uh, in two-handed form or four-handed form? Two-handed form. Two-handed form. And he is called as Dash in the Goloka Vrindavana. Krishna or? One more name. Can you see the picture on the side? That is what he is called as. Krishna. Govinda. Okay, Krishna or Govinda. Okay, can you describe how the Lord looks in his spiritual abode? Like, for example, describe his eyes, his color, his beauty. Garment, garments and ornaments. How does his eyes look like? What is it compared with? His eyes are compared to? Lotus eyes. Lotus, eyes. Lotus petals, yes. And his color is compared to the color of? Clouds. That's right. And what is his beauty compared to? <laughs> more than thousand cupids. His beauty is more than that. Okay, and uh, what what color dress he wears? He wears yellow dhoti, saffron. In the spiritual world, he wears saffron. Okay, and then what else he wears on his body? More pink. What was that? More pink. More pink? Peacock feather. Yeah, that's right. Peacock feather. And one more thing. What does he wear on the neck? Jewels. Garlands. Garlands. Yeah. Okay, so here are some of the names of the plenary expansions of the Lord. I've given the first letter and you need to fill in the uh, rest of the word. The first word starts with a P. Can you remember of any word starting with a P? Krishna's name. Okay, if you remember the Tilaka Mantra, a lot of names are covered in that. Okay, the first one, I'll give you a clue. The first one is Purushottama. Okay, Purushottama is one of the names. Okay, the second letter starts with T. Can you guess that? It comes in our Tilaka Mantra. Trivikrama. Trivikrama, very nice. Okay. Okay, then next one starts with V. Bamana. Bamana. Okay, good job. Damodar. Damodara. Very nice. Okay. Okay, next one. Narayan. Yeah, that's right. Very nice. Everybody's answering. Okay, next one starts with V again. Vishnu. 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 Purushottam. Purushottam. What V? There's one more V. Jagannath. Jagannath. V. V. I'm talking about V. Vamana? 
Vaman has already done. Vishnu, invest. What else? Is the son of Vasudeva. What is he called? Krishna. Vasudeva. Okay. Vasudeva. Yeah, yeah, okay, then one more starting with P. Prahalad? Prahalad is a devotee of Krishna. No, 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 no. I'm talking about P. Starting from P. There is a little bit of Krishna. Padmanabha. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then one more name starting with P. Jagannath. 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 Yes. Jagannath. Uh, one more. Jagannath. This is a little tough because it doesn't come in a little bit But Jagannath and Kutshottama are also some of the names. Okay? okay. In the spiritual world, all the classes are bad. There is no need of sunshine, moonshine, fire, or electricity. So, what are all the planets? All planets are not. Yeah, all the other planets. In a special world, all the One, the dance uh, uh, can be explained that there is no need of sun, moon, shine, fire, or anything. That means that the sun is in the middle. Okay, in the middle, there is only one thing that is called the sun. Is there a word? What is the I forgot to mention here that uh, state true or false. Okay, so the first one, Brahman understanding of the Lord is complete understanding of the Lord, and Bhagavan understanding is partial understanding. Is this true or false? Is everybody listening to me? Can you say true or false for the first one? Brahman understanding is complete understanding and Bhagavan is partial understanding. Is this true? False. 
false, right? It's exactly the opposite. Brahman is partial understanding and Bhagavan is understanding. It compares prasad and grace. Remember? Okay. May I please request all of you who are not talking to please mute your phones because it's really creating a lot of noise. Okay, second one. In the spiritual world, there is only one Supreme God at Krishna who expands himself into millions and millions of planets. Is this true? In the spiritual world, there is only one Supreme God at Krishna who expands himself into millions and millions of planetary spaces. Yes, true. 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 Very nice. Okay. The planet expansions are also two handed like Govinda. Is this true? Is this true? Like Govinda. Himself 
only to push the back of the people who are not. Problem. Try to think. Everybody starts with an M. Mayapur. Mayapur is not near Vrindavan. Mayapur is on the east side of India. It's in the district of Mathura. Mathura. Very nice. Okay. And then Vrindavan is about dash miles southeast of Delhi. This is also there in your lesson. This is to uh, help you locate Vrindavana on the map of India. How many miles is it southeast of Delhi? Hmm? Vrindavana is about 10 miles southeast of Delhi. Okay, nine miles. Okay? You guys have to go through the workbook more to get more familiar with uh, all of these. And then there is this shloka which is given in the lesson 5, which is a translation of Antakale uh, Chamameva Smaran Muktva Kalevaram. That is there in the workbook as well. So that shloka it is uh, the translation of that shloka is this line. You just have to fill in the blanks. Whoever at the time of dash quits his body, remembering dash. Yes. Whoever yes. at the time of death. 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 Very nice. Quits his body, remembering dash alone. Remembering me. Me. Yes. And who's that me, by the way? Krishna. Krishna. Okay. At once attains my dash. About. About. Yes. In the translation it also says nature. Okay. At once attains my nature, which is the same as about. Of this there is no Is there any doubt about it? Any any doubt? That maybe no. it might happen, it might not happen. Are there any doubts? Krishna says. 
There's no doubt. There's no doubt, right? Yeah. So that's what comes in the blank. Okay. The next one is an interesting exercise. Uh, I have made uh, two columns here and made a comparison of the material and spiritual worlds. Uh, this, uh, these are some of the points that I started with. You can add more and uh, send it as, a, an, as an exercise, okay? So the material world and spiritual world, I have made two columns. The first point of comparison is, what is the ratio, okay? What is the ratio of the material world and how much is the spiritual world? How much is the material world? One fourth of the entire creation. Yes, one fourth and the spiritual world is? Three fourths. Three fourths. Three fourth. So spiritual world is much, much bigger than the material world. Okay. In the material world, there is only one self-luminous planet called as? Sun. Sun. But in the Vaikuntha, in the spiritual world, all the Vaikuntha planets are? Self-luminous. Okay. Then the, the third point is, in the material world, there is only one sun and one moon. Oh, I didn't give up comparison point here. But in the spiritual world, there are innumerable suns and moons. Okay, the next point is, all planets in the material world have birth and death. Remember, we went through this even in our shloka, Abrahma Bhuvana Loka. Okay, whereas in the spiritual world, all planets are transcendental to birth, death, old age and disease. Okay, the last point that I noted here is, all planets in the material world are limited by time. Whereas in the spiritual world, there is no boundary of time. Right? Right. Any other points that you can gather? There, is still, uh, there are still some more points. Can you just say one more point before we conclude? Think. Okay, I'll give you one clue. Think about the number of planets. In the material world, there's only about like 11 planets. How many? According to our Vedic uh, understanding, how many planets oh, 14. are there? 14. No, no, no. Yes, 14. You're right. Whereas in the spiritual world, what is the comparison point? There's, there's an endless amount. Yeah. Innumerous planets, innumerous Vaikuntha planets. Okay, so we'll add that as well. And then uh, think of any other point that you can add and also uh, make a note and send it across. Okay, this is this would be a good exercise for us to understand about the topic material world and spiritual side. Okay. Any questions? Uh, Anybody has right now? No, what are you? Okay, so please go through your uh, workbook well with all the lessons. I can hear some some singing. Okay. Okay, thank you all very much for answering so well and participating. Uh, please prepare well for your exams, which will be in some time. Uh, if we don't have any questions, we can conclude here with our Vaishnava prayers. Vancha kalpa vata rupya cha Vipa sindhya prayeva cha Dita namo Vaishnava namo namaha Ananta Koti Vaishna Vrindaki Jai Namacharya Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Jai Vaishna Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai